All right, all right, all right. We are live. And we got Grumpy J, Lemur Bricks, Morgan, Corvette, a bunch of regulars here. We sure appreciate you guys. Uh, we're actually starting the stream out a tiny bit differently today. Normally, we immediately begin diving into the cool stuff in the store, but uh, somebody wanted to prank me at work and uh, wanted to glue this to my desk, so I'm getting just a tiny bit of retribution. Ah! Right in Joe's face. That, that's what's going to happen. No, no, get it, get it, get it. Get, it. Give it a, get rid of that. Someone has a violent attitude. No Nixonites in my studio in the desk. Oh, wait, what's that? So, so that, what's that say right there? I, I challenged our Instagram and Facebook page uh, uh -huh. viewers if they got enough likes on this that I would wear it. We did not get enough likes. I think we did. How many did we get? 30. Oh, that's not enough. That is not enough. That's I need at least 100. Come on, and so uh, if you ha aren't um, liked and following our Instagram and Facebook pages, definitely recommend you do because you guys missed out. Uh, I could have been wearing next nights and being very humble today, but instead, we're going to just do another store tour live. There's Gary. Hello, Gary. I don't know if you guys know, but Gary uh, loaned us a Technic set for the joy of building. I think that was last night, right? That was pretty awesome. So, oh, I got to get um, the music muted here. Music muted. There you go. So we don't want to have... Uh, I don't think that's copyrighted music playing on the TV, but we gotta make sure, so. Wow, it's a mess back here, oh my goodness. Oh, there's Scott Robinson, hello Scott. Can we look at Built Eternals sets? Oh, we'll check them out. Lemur Bricks, that's good. Not sure, I gave 100% of likes for next night. <laughs> well, you need to get some of your friends to like too, Grumpy J, we didn't get enough likes. One like should be enough, nope, nope. It needs to be more, we need more likes. We gotta get the algorithms up. There's BJ Nemeth, hello BJ. Oh, we got all the regulars today, except I, I haven't seen Madeline. Maybe she'll show up later. We got And um, uh, Brad P. isn't here either. There's a couple of friends. Oh, there's Madeline. Oh, oh excuse me, guys. Sorry. There's Madeline. How you doing, Madeline? And Lemur Bricks had her, had her first question of the day, which was, can we look at built Eternals sets? So they're not over by Technic. They're over by Marvel. So we'll go look over there. There's Deanna. Hello, everyone. I loved the Mark video. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure which one that was. I'm in a, in a lot of videos, but I hope you enjoyed it. My only friends are digital ones. Oh, well, <laughs> that, that is, hey, Grumpy J, we, we, we're the best kind of friends. We see each other every other day. It's awesome. There's Morgan. Hello, Morgan. Brad P. Oh, there's Brad P. Yay! Yeah, we got, we got everybody here today. It's awesome. All right, Built Eternals sets. There's the gauntlet. It's not the Eternals, though. Let's see. Not seeing them yet. There's some more Thanos outfits over there. And Zion's asking about Bionicle. We'll go look at that in just a moment. For sure. We still got quite a few Bionicles. Let's go look over here. There's some more Marvel right here. Oh, here's a few. He looks like he's a little worse for wear. Maybe one of the Eternals got to him, but there's one there. There's one over here too. Those are actually a really good deal, especially since those cool um, blade pieces, those satin opalescent blade pieces are pretty cool, pretty expensive. So definitely um, worth getting those sets to get those pieces. I might actually buy one of those if they aren't sold by the end of this video. Um, let's see here. Zion was asking about Bi uh, Bionicle. Scott Robinson says, super excited. I got my package in the from y'all yesterday. Thanks so much, guys. Oh, you're welcome, Scott. Thank you for buying. I'm sure it was an awesome package of Lego stuff. Your unexpe unexpected lunch visitor. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Grumpy J pranked me with a next night figure and they glued it to my desk. Joe and Chris are so nefarious. Uh, but I managed to pop it off and scrape off the glue before any damage was done. But it, oh, my goodness. They're going to great lengths to prank us these days. No one is safe. And it's hilarious. I'm not grumpy in the least. Wink, wink. Let's see. So we got quite a few good Bionicles here. We were looking at those very cool boxed Bionicles in the back earlier. Um, we sold a Paraka earlier. Those guys are pretty sweet. There's the Arctic themed ones. 
Do you plan on adding more barnacles to your website? We have a handful, or we should have had a handful, but um, we're, we're, we're just kind of inundated with things to add right now, so probably not immediately, but hopefully soon. Because there's a couple good ones here, like you got that vehicle, you've got the witch doctor, you've got this big guy. Oh, what's his name? Tuma. So there's a couple of cool bionicles for sure. Um, can you show DC sets sometime? Yes, we can, Agent Keeper. Thanks for tuning into the live stream. We sure appreciate it. I just wonder what Mark is going to do with his new intern. I see he treats him like the Darby the house elf. Yes, that is correct, Grumpy J. He's still in my office somewhere. I'll have to uh, uh, put him to work on something, I guess. Do you have a Nexo Knight's shield? Uh, what what size Nexo Knight shields, Lemur Breaks? Oh, let's see. What's up? What what? They really want a Nexo Knight shield. Oh, uh, they might. I don't know. Uh, hey, I would uh, be. I'm surprised too, Chris. But Diana wanted the store display Scooby Doo store display. Mm -hmm. We never got a, a Scooby Doo store display. Okay. We unloaded them today. Gotcha. Uh, from our storage unit into our new space. And, yeah. Um, it, it might have been a Duplo one that had the same color scheme. Okay, so the lime color was probably Duplo or something yeah, else. Okay. Yeah, there definitely was not a Scooby Doo one. So we couldn't find it. Yeah, we don't have one. All right. So, yeah. sounds good. Yep. I, hopefully, I think uh, Diana was in the oh, chat. Mark, maybe. Mark, oh, yeah. Very important. We did get uh, three Nexonites displays. Okay, so we have a bunch of Nexonite displays. The the sets inside are glued. Three store displays. But they're really cool. Yeah. yeah. So. If you want those, let us know. I know Grumpy J loves Nexonites, so we've got some some viewers here that want Nexonites, and uh, we've got them. So here's some of the DC sets that we have available right now. Going over and then merging into Marvel, so we won't go that far. I love the Superman sets and the Kryptonians. I always like to feature those guys. They're awesome. Loving the Kryptonian figures. Oh, let's see. Got some comments. Uh, Slate says, hello. Hello, Slate. Thanks for joining us. Oh, the tiles. Yeah, we can look, have a look, Lehman Bricks. I know we don't sell a ton of loose stuff, but I think those might be an exception. So how does store credit work when you uh, trade sets? Oh, trade sets? Um, yeah, so Zion, you can uh, submit a photo and, and some information in our uh, sell and trade form on our website. And then we'll give you an estimate of what the trade value would be, or even sometimes a solid price. And then you can ship your Lego to us, and then you can get store credit to spend on our website. So it's a very nice way to trade without coming to the store. However, you can always just visit the store and bring your stuff with you, and you can trade it in person if you like, too. Uh, let's see. I really do the best castle, castle sub theme. No, it is not, Grumpy J. Um, Diana says, uh, thank you for letting me know. You're welcome, Diana. How much is the Killer Croc Tailgater? Oh, let's see here. One fourteen ninety nine. That has gone up a little bit. It's still an awesome set, though. We should have a couple of those built, though. Any mocks? Um, oh, oh, oh. Let's have Steven show off this uh, Star Wars one he's working on really quick. Steven, can you show off your Star Wars mock really quick? Oh, yeah. Give me a second. Someone was asking about mocks. It's over there. He's he's making plans for the Ren Fair. You want to sit it on top of here? We've got 22 people waiting to see this. Are the orange price tag stickers special to don't damage the box? Yes, all the stickers that we put on boxes are removable so that we aren't damaging stuff. So it's a good question, yes. Oh, there we go. And what is this, Stephen? What are we looking at? Crumb's Cantina. So we have, I don't know his full name. Salicious B. Crumb. That's the character. So this is his cantina. We're going to put it in our Lego city. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's nearly done. We're going to have lights and everything in it. We're going to have a bunch of characters. I got Bulba, I got some stormtroopers, got some Jedi. And have a bunch of characters hanging out. Mm -hmm. These are for sale. This building will be for sale, but you know, kind of in the city, you have so to ask for a price. Yeah. Price. yeah. Can I see the back here? Oh, you can. I got lots of openings. I haven't pushed anything down. Looks yet. like there's a wire there. Is there going to be some lights there in there are too? There's going to be lights. Nice. So, yeah, going to have little 
candle candelabra things on each table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're gonna have lights in the top that are flashing. Mm -hmm. And have some others at the top here. It's really open, so you can see inside very easily if you want to. Yeah. So it's gonna be lower, so it's good for the top viewing. Gotcha. So yeah, I've been working on this for the last couple of days. There's very no nice. Stars building out there, so we figured, hey, let's make it up. So. Yeah, <laughs> Grumpy Jay just said, and that's why the Erickson brothers won the second season of Lego Master. <laughs> yep, Steven is making, this is your first Star Wars mock, is it not? Uh, probably not. Oh, I you did, sure? I did a white slave one a long time ago, it was like a full size one. So you've that. made Star Wars ships before? I, I made some Star Wars stuff, this is the first Star Wars building, I think. First Star Wars building, cool. Yeah. It looks really Star Warsy though, really enjoying I it. I like this bionicle bug thing. The people are loving it though. So. So, uh, Slate says, looks nice, Steven. And Corvette says, sweet. Yep. Oh, oh, can I trade fan made Lego sets and still get store credit? Um, yeah, so you could train your own, uh, trade your own Lego builds for store credit. But um, generally, the sets sell better than just mocks. But uh, we still have uh, purchased mocks before and sold them because people like buying those too sometimes. So. Uh, Raymond says hello from Armarillo, Texas. Thank you for joining, Raymond. Hope everything is awesome in Texas. Let's see. Uh, that's a cool build, says Robert. It is. It's a very cool build. Steven is very good with those details. So on the top shelf and the sub top shelf, we've got Creator Christmas sets. We've got pirate ships. We've got Minecraft. We've got Monkey Kid. We've got City. How do you submit a photo of the sets? Oh, so in the um, buy and trade form, there's uh, several points where you can attach a photo. There's a little link, and it should be able to upload a photo when you submit that form. So hopefully you're able to find the right uh, link on there. There should be like eight or nine links you can put photos in if you want to. So it is around 80 degrees here. Wow, that's pretty hot. I, I think it's uh, kind of mid to high 70s here, so it's not quite as uh, warm as Texas, but it's, it's we're enjoying the warmer weather nonetheless. Is that a little mini carousel in the winter Christmas set? It is, Robert. Let's see here. It's even got the very cool fabric roof. And it's got the, um, I think those pieces for the horses are individual unique prints with the very um, ornate bridles. So yes, it's a very cool set. All the winter village sets should be on our website. Can I see the Ninjago? We'll check it out for sure. We're gonna finish through the top stuff. We got an ARC 170 up there. We've got the giant model team truck. We've got Technic. We've got the UCS Star Wars, as well as the um, early pod race set. The Moss Espa pod race, is that right? Yep. We've got Classic Space, Classic Castle. We've got an Indominus Rex up there. All right, how much is the ARC 170? Jerry Houston asked. 400 for a sealed new ARC-170. Very cool. It's online. It's on the website. We're going to be doing uh, shorts with it soon. You'll see people dancing around. And unless, someone buys it. unless someone buys it before the end of the stream. All right, let's go look at uh, Ninjago really quick, especially built Ninjago because Dragon Ball Heroes was interested in that. So we'll go check that out. Excuse us, guys. Are you streaming? Or? We are. We're on our YouTube channel. Nice. You said there's Yes, over in the back corner. Nice. Definitely worth checking out. So. And a, a, quite a bit of a hero factory, too, if you're into that thing. So. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, so we've got quite a bit of built Ninjago. It's a little jumbled up. So we've got dragons. We've got mechs. We've got landscapes. Uh, Slate says, I'm here in Georgia, about an hour away from Atlanta Brickco. Oh, nice. I don't know if you're able to stop by, but it's worth visiting Slate. Uh, uh, Zion was asking about Chima. We can look at that next. Have you played the Skywalker Saga? Great question, Lima Bricks. I have not yet, but I've seen a lot of clips and uh, playthroughs. So one day, hopefully soon, I'm hoping to play it because it looks like a really fun game. Oh, and uh, Grumpy J reminds everyone to don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button and... Uh, Definitely leave a comment and ask about what you're interested in. We could have a look. So Jerry Houston's asking about modulars. We'll look at Chima and modulars in a moment once we're done with Ninjago here. So, Yes, coming sometime in June. Oh, nice, Slate. That's not too far away. A couple months from now, we'll see you. 
Yes, I work during the week, and Steven works on weekends, although Steven's starting to expand his schedule. He's working Mondays and Fridays these days, usually. So definitely, uh, we'll have a bunch of people here. Joe works pretty much every day. He practically lives here. So, yes. Yeah, plenty of awesome Ninjago built sets. If you see any that are particularly interesting, feel free to call or email or chat with us, and uh, we can have it shipped to you. Um, Joe is really good at shipping built sets. You can ask um, Brad P or Grumpy J or pretty much anybody here has bought at least something from me before. So we're gonna look at Chima. We only have a few Chima sets. Got the built Lion Warrior. Got a Gorilla Mech. That's actually kind of cool. Not gonna lie, that, that one's actually kind of cool. Let's see. Um, Raymond says, can you ask Mark on a future build with Mark if he could show us how they build any of the Lego buildings in the store city? Oh, yeah. We'll have to do a video on that, Raymond. That would be good. Angelina uh, Elser says, my Darth Maul should be here Monday. Can't wait. Oh, that's awesome. Darth Maul is one of the best Star Wars characters. Prove me wrong. I approve that message, says Grumpy J. Yes. Mark, be sure to mention the website address since chat won't let me post it. Oh, yes. So it's atlbrook.com, and it's also in the description. So just go ahead and uh, click that, and you should be able to get to our website pronto. My mom said it's not a good idea to, <laughs> to live in Atlanta. Oh, so downtown Atlanta can be a little sketch sometimes, but out in the suburbs here, it's not so bad. If you and Steven could do any challenge from LEGO Masters Season 1, what would it be? Oh, I think the... Bridge challenge would be a lot of fun, or the split and uh, half challenge would be very fun too. And so we looked at Shima. Oh, we have some box Shima sets. Let's look at those really quick. Oh, this is like the haunted. So these are all from season one. And then you've got some of the season two Shima sets when they went into the Arctic lands with fire and sword. Brick Jedi says, Ahoy, ahoy. Hello, Brick Jedi. I like that parrot for the profile picture. Very nice. Where do I submit the photo? Um, Zion, it should be in the form a little bit further down. I know that some mobile users were having trouble, so it might not be showing up if you're using a phone, but if you're able to use a tablet or a desktop, it might show up a little bit better. So we're, uh, let's see. Lima Bricks says, got to go. We'll see you, Lima Bricks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Chima versus Nexo chess set would be sweet. That would actually be pretty awesome. Uh, let's see. What was the... I thought there was another request. Um, no? We looked at... Oh, modulars. Modulars. Uh, Jerry Houston was asking about modulars. We'll go look at that. Mark, you also got the V-22 Osprey. No, we do not, sadly. That was a really cool set, but, uh, we got... We sold it quite a while ago. We got any modulars in stock, Joe? Well, he's, he's frozen. We'll check back with we, Joe later. We have, we have a few built. Okay. He had frozen just for fun. So. Hello, Vogan. How you doing? Hi. How's it going? Good. Did you know that Vogan's got his own segment on Atlanta Brick Co. TV soon? On Saturdays? Around 4-ish? Around in the morning-ish? So definitely tune in on Saturdays. Upcoming hilarious videos very soon. I know that for modulars, we have the pet shop. This one's 289. And it's got a couple of the right figures. That one doesn't look right though. That looks like a newer figure. So building itself looks like it's in pretty good shape though. And then we've got the built assembly square for also 289. And it looks like it's got the figures as well, including the very adorable baby. And we've got a few more down here, as well as some modular-like sets, like the Simpsons house and the uh, um, Home Alone house. So you've got the detective's office. I don't know what price that is. Hold on. Four eighty-nine. dollars Oof, that's a bit more expensive, but it's also a really cool building. You got another assembly square for $279. It's a little cheaper. It might be missing a figure or two. That might be why. 
So that's about all we've got for modulars. I don't think we have any in the boxes right now. Nonetheless, we do have a couple of them. Let's see here. A couple more questions. Do you take credit cards? We sure do. We take uh, most forms of payment, such as PayPal, credit cards, um, cash if you're here at the store. So, uh, Mark Love says, hey there. Can you give us a look at the Pirates of the Caribbean sets? We might have one or two. I know we're a little low on uh, cool license themes like that right now, but we'll go check. Tell Joe I just used the chat to let him know my address. All right, we'll let him know, Corvette. Let's see, do you have Cody? We might. I'll have to ask Ethan. He would know. Let's see. Looking for Pirates of the Caribbean. We should get Chris to give us a tour of the Star Wars section on May 4th, like last year. We could totally do that, Madeline. That's a great idea. Yeah, May the 4th is coming up here soon, so we'll uh, have to check. Brad P. says, just saw on the LEGO website, the free with purchase is a wheeled loader. Some of you know that I collect those, so I'll be making a trip to Disney Springs very, very, very soon. Oh, that sounds, that sounds great, Brad P. It's amazing they knew exactly what set they needed to make to get you to come to the store they're like we'll get this brad p guy we'll, we got him we know exactly what he can't resist see if they made a castle set now that, that would get me can we see the star wars when you have the chance we can do you have a lot of skeleton minifigs and skeleton horses we actually do have quite a few of those a lot of those are on the website uh raymond so definitely look up skeleton on the website atlbrick.com you should be able to find quite a few um skeleton horses and stuff like that for sure We've got a few Pirates of the Caribbean sets in front of me here. Not too many. You've got the little poly bag with the voodoo doll Jack Sparrow minifigure. And you've got the uh, uh, Fountain of Youth as well. That one is certified complete. And I think there's another one certified complete behind it as well. And even maybe one on top of it too. So we might have three Fountain of Youth. Who said it was hard to find? We've got three of them. And then we got quite a few Pirates of the Caribbean figures here. we got Jack Sparrow. Oh, they're like lights. Uh, Blackbeard. Some of the mermaids. And most of the figures, not a bunch of them. A few of them. My son Nathan and I are here. Hi, everyone. Hey, Brick Lore. That's awesome. Thanks for joining us. We sure appreciate it. Let's see. They don't take IOUs. I tried. Yes. Yep. Grumpy J, we don't do that. We do store credit though, so if you trade in Lego, you can immediately get some Lego for whatever value you traded in. So, good afternoon, Kinga and Jacob. Hope everyone is having a great day. Well, thank you so much, guys. We sure appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. It's good to see you. Is there another way to get store credit? Um, not really. Most of the time, you'd have to trade stuff in to get store credit. So, but uh, feel free to email us if you have other uh, questions like that for sure. Or you could even ask here. Most of the time, we know. Uh, let's see. I like that idea, Madeline. Yep, Madeline's got the, the good ideas for sure. I bar believe you already set the hook on Millennium Falcons. <laughs> Just ordered the mini carousel Winter Village market set. Thanks for showing me that. You're welcome, Robert. That's awesome. Thanks for purchasing that. I'll mention that to Joe. Um, and um, Corvette also had some chat messages he wanted Joe to have a look at too. Um, let's see. NASA built sets and price. Thanks. We'll check T Valkyrie. There's Will Lamb. Hello, Will Lamb. Thanks for joining us. Mark, have you been watching Moon Knight? No spoilers, but the last episode was crazy. It was crazy. I saw it, um, was it yesterday? No, it was the day before. So yeah, um, that was insane. If you're not watching Moon Knight, it's, it's scary. It's not for kids, but it's really, really good. It's in, insane, intense. If I wash the employees' cars, would that count as straight? Oh, <laughs> You'd have to ask. I don't know. I, I don't believe in washing my car. I let it live in its natural state of dirtiness. All right. Uh, let's see. Do you have the Tron Legacy light cycles? I wish we did. If we did, I would probably buy them. But yeah, I think we're out of those right now. Build with me. Sorry about that. Thanks for asking, though. We sure appreciate it. Joe isn't there Saturday, is he? Not this Saturday, I don't think. But hopefully soon. Zion Cinema says bye. Thanks for tuning in, Zion Cinema. We sure appreciate it. Grumpy, LOL. We'll work Harry Potter and Scooby-Doo Graveyard for store credit. <laughs> you, you'd have to send us an email. I'm not sure. 
Typically, we just have the employees down there, but you never know. Any Lego sports sets? We do have some sports sets, and we might even have some Western stuff, too. Let's go look at that Lego head. Let me head over there. Let's see what we've got. Oh, we're going to pass right by this section. That stuff's terrible. I can look at that. Excuse me. We've been reorganizing the city section, so it's uh, pretty different. Some uh, some is discombobulated, some looks good, like that fire department section looks absolutely fire. Really bad joke, I'm sorry. But um, the police section looks good too. We got those organized by theme. But I know we've got some sports sets because I put them all here. So we've got a couple of the hockey Technic players. We've got a couple of the hockey McDonald's kits. We've got a couple of the basketball and soccer kits in the back. We've got the soccer bus from the two early 2000s. And that's about all we got for sports. Mostly just a few small sets. Sometimes we'll have more, but they actually sell pretty well because they're sometimes pretty affordable. These guys are like 10 bucks, 30 bucks for a kicking, a goal kicking practice. Uh, that basketball set is expensive because it has Lakers players there. So, yep, yeah, got some sports. And uh, Western was the other question. Let's check on that for Lego head really quick. We can look at the light kits. That's a good question, build with me. We'll look at those in a moment. Uh, Western should be over here. Got some Western characters on that uh, row, starting with the blue Union looking troopers. Got some cowboys and Native Americans. And I don't see any Western sets yet. We might be out of Western sets, but we do have a few figures. That's cool. Um, Brad P., get your bathing suit. We have cars to go wash. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Didn't you have a minifigure glued to Mark's desk? And now you want to, to trade in credit? Oh, well, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, Kinga and Jacob are right. You you uh, you're, you you've been pranking the employees, and now you're saying you want to start credit, Grumpy J. You gotta be nice to us. You gotta never mention Nexo Nights again. Then I would probably give you five dollars store credit just for that. Chris is enjoying that little line of dialogue. All right, um, what were we looking up? We were looking up um, pirates. Oh, light kits. I passed right by the light kits. Yes, let's go look at light kits. I'm getting turned around here, but. Thank you, Mark, for what you did yesterday. Also, can I see Adventurers in Western? We saw the Western just a second ago, but we'll check out Adventurers as well. But first, we're going to go over the light kits really quick. Can we see Simpsons stuff? So Adventurers, Simpsons, Pirates. Awesome Pirates there, though. Oh, yes, Pirates are in pretty good shape right now. Ask my wife. There's no way I could keep my mouth closed. LOL. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Mark. Does he have to do for $10 store credits? Oh, what does he have to do for $10? Mm-hmm. That's pretty tough. He might have to actually um, purchase a small real castle set. And always, whenever he, in the chat, he has to say that the actual castle line is way better than Nexonites. But I don't know if he's willing to go to that level of extreme, but we'll see. Um, so we have these new lighting kits. We've had lighting kits available in the stores for a while from different brands. Um, and we've liked all of them, but these are the best we've had so far because it comes in a box. And it has instructions. It's just all one kit. You don't have to go onto our website for instructions or anything like that. And uh, these go for various sets. They're not really build your own lighting kit. It's more like they go to specific kits that would look really good with lights. Like, so you got the Winter Village Fire Station, and that looks really nice. So, and there's another Winter Village set in there too. There's some Star Wars vehicles that would look pretty good with lights. You got, oh, the Haunted House. Really nice. So these are all going to be on, on our website under lighting kits, I believe, is what they should be under. That or lights. So if you search for those, you should be able to find them. They have their own uh, category on there. But there are a bunch of cool sets. Like, here's one. Oh, I want that one. I might have to buy that one. That's so nice. The Coliseum. Comes in a big box. How much is that? I don't see the price, but it's on the website. All right, I missed on the questions. We had Simpsons, and what was the other thing we were asking about? 
Simpsons stuff, and there was one other thing. Lights. Which lights kits are the best? I like the ones that are based around vehicles or buildings. So that's most of them, I understand. But, um, you know, like Harry Potter sets, that bike, that Technic bike looks way cooler with lights in it. You know, some of them, some sets are made for lights, some sets are not. For example, we had a light kit for a Porg, and that made no sense at all to me. So. Let's see. Hey, Mark, hope you're having a great day. Well, thanks, Dace. You too. Let's see. Excuse me, guys. Okay, McDonald's and Chick-fil-A gift cards to work in the graveyard. Uh, you might be able to work something out there, uh, Diana. We do like our McDonald's and Chick-fil-A. At least I like McDonald's. No one else does. But um, challenge accepted. Joe, you said we need to do more of his desk. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant at all. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, someone was asking about adventurers. We'll look at that really quick. And then we'll go look at uh, Simpsons. We got a few Simpsons sets we could talk about. I'll clean the toilets to go through the, Mar the Marvel or Bionicle graveyard or any graveyard. <laughs> well, definitely email the store. I, I don't have authorization to show off the graveyard, but uh, you know, we can, we we'll probably could work something out if you're visiting from out of state or just from further away, we can work something out. We usually, we give tours pretty often. Um, we've got some adventurers sets here. These are actually sealed. They're very nice. Let's see. And then you got, I saw one right, yep, there's one. A nice deal. $59.99 for that cool box. That one's used, but it's still a really cool set. Um, and we also have quite a few adventurers figures. So going from Johnny Thunder to the villains and a whole bunch of others. Top Shelf T Valkyrie. We actually looked at that earlier in the video, so if you want to scroll back, you can check it out. But um, it's pretty much the same as before. A few gaps, actually, so not too different. Tell Joe thanks. Okay, so Corvette, uh, Joe must have gotten back to your message. That's awesome. Does a 2x4 hurt when you step on it? Um, what do you think, Grumpy Jay? Of course it hurts. How many have... I've stepped on dozens of 2x4s, and they all hurt. There's a Simpsons house way over there in the corner. I can't see the price though. I'll go look at it in a second. You got a Simpsons house without any figures for 300 right here. It has the instructions. Maybe the figures are inside, but I don't see them. Normally we try and put them on the outside. Let's see if I can find the price on that one there. Okay, $399. So $400 with what appears to be most of the figures. So very expensive for Simpsons, but we do have a few. Um, FYI on the website, $83 for Coliseum Light Kit, but looks like most of the light kits are 20 to 40. Oh, thanks, Robert. Yeah. And they all are on the website, so if you're going to have one of your sets, one of your favorite sets, look absolutely amazing. Definitely recommended. When my wife and I visited the store, Chris and Justin gave us the full tour of even the graveyard. Oh, that's awesome, Brad P. So yeah. Normally we can work that out, but uh, send us an email if you're planning on visiting and you want to see the graveyard, so. Yeah, but Madeline, my offer is better. <laughs> uh, typically we can have more than one person visit the graveyard. It's not like we have one per day or something. We've got these cool props from the snowman building kits, but I just use these accessories all the time. Like that radio is great for props and I use my magic wand when editing videos, so. Get your hard hat and your top hat. We use those for drawing things out of a hat. Well, let's see. Um, I'll be seeing Ed, Stephen, and whoever will be there tomorrow. Oh, so Gary is stopping by tomorrow. Awesome. I'll let Stephen know since he will be there. Can you check out the classic space? Thanks. Oh, yes, Dace. That is one of my favorite sections. We'll go look at that. Okay. Perfect. Around the store. Yep, that's all Chris does is try and fix things that are broken. Oh, excuse me, sir. Let's see. Slate says, thank you. You're welcome, Slate. I'm not sure which what it was. Maybe I found something for him. Um, let's see. What is the best Lego house in your opinion? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't typically think of Lego houses, but I guess I would have to say the blacksmith shop since it's also his house and it's a blacksmith shop, so it's pretty cool. That's the newer one, by the way. It's very nice. Um, classic space. Let's go look at that over here. So the top row has quite a bit of it. You've got some of the smaller vehicles, big rovers. 
some in box, some outside of the box. Like there's a space police interceptor there for 35. Great deal. Got some more in the back. That box is really nice shape. Look at that. A 6890. It's 150, probably mostly for that box. The set is pretty valuable too, but not as much as the mint box. How much is the radio? Oh, I thought it was $20, $25. Let me check here. I think it was $19.99, Angelina, but hold on one second. Let's go check real quick. I need to get an Atlanta Brick Co. t-shirt so I can wear it every time I go to the Disney Springs Lego store. Ha! They would probably recognize it because most of the employees have visited here uh, just because they heard about it and wanted to check it out. So I actually recognized uh, about half the employees when I visited there last January. So, so $19.99 for the radio. And it's super detailed, super sturdy plastic. It's really cool. All the accessories are awesome. Um, let's see, you have to call ahead. They have to get rid of the bodies from the last tour group. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is exactly the case, Grumpy. No, it is not. No, no, definitely not. Grumpy J is, uh, it's, it, no, that's, that's uh, fake news. Madeline, <laughs> Madeline's laughing at Grumpy J. Um, if only I could find my second goat. Oh yeah, that would, uh, that would be pretty awesome. You have the goat flex, the double goat flex. I love the new burrow. Oh, um, that sounds, is, is the burrow the Lord of the Rings set? I'm trying to remember. Finnick is always talking about things that I, I vaguely know about, but don't always know exactly. All right. What, Brad P., you don't have a shirt yet? That was on my second order with them. Oh, <laughs> Grumpy J calling out Brad P. Yep, we can get you shirts, Brad P. We've got some good ones. I love those classic space. Oh, yes. Rick Lore, they are awesome. Grumpy, truthfully, I'm not a T-shirt wearer. Generally, it's a button-up the front shirt or a polo. We should get some nicer stuff, Brad B. That's a good point. We do have hoodies, but that's still kind of casual. Can you build a top hat for Bricky Bobby? Oh, good point, Will Lamb. We need to uh, get Bricky Bobby some bling and some accessories. Daniel's been working very hard on these uh, classic space minifigures. They look amazing. All arrayed out here. And they're all super accurate on our website. Ready to be purchased from anyone who wants them. Grumpy jokes are the best. Yes, they are. Angelina says, fantastic, thanks. And that one's probably not on our website, Angelina, so if you might want to call or email the store and ask about that. Um, Harry Potter, says Mark Love. We'll go check out Harry Potter. Harry Potter, that's my favorite house. Oh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. But which house in Harry Potter do you fit into? Because the burrow. Oh, yeah, 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 Harry Potter. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, guys. You guys are uh, giving me the right directions here. Having these five ABC shirts. There you go, Gary. That's basically all I wear these days is Atlanta Brick Co. shirts. So. Meaning the burrow is Harry Potter. Oh, yes. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to go look at the burrow now because it's what we're talking about. So. Passing the license stuff. Jurassic World. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Are you good? See if we got a burrow over here. Yep, we got one. Basilisk. There's the burrow. That's what someone was asking about a little earlier. That one's yeah, 200 for a certified the complete. The glow in the dark. This is the older version of it, so. Because they made a newer one that's pretty nice, too. I like all these little But I like the together. figures in this one. They're very cool. They're super cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I was just saying the burrow is Harry Potter, but I won't reject checking out Harry Potter. Yes. That's what we're doing now, because we're over here. There's another burrow. A lot of built Harry Potter sets right now. Yeah, oh, dude, Smog, Smog's like the coolest dragon because he has like rubber wings mm -hmm. that like fold in on themselves. So a bunch of cool stuff. Oh, we got some Harry Potter sets here too. There's Privet Drive. There's another house related to build. Let's see. Ravenclaw, yep, Ravenclaw. Check out the Star Wars section. We can do that, Wilson, for sure. The Dire Wolf, I think. Only want two grumpy guys in the balcony. All right. <laughs> Attack on the Burrow is a current release set. Exactly. Yeah, there's a new one, and there was uh, that old one I was, we were looking at, too. I don't think we have the new one in stock right now. Grumpy J, that's brilliant. Yes, Grumpy J and Brad P. I think we'll have to get those CMFs so we can put them in the store somewhere, judging everyone. <laughs> that would be amazing. All right, so let's look at Star Wars. we got the built sets over here, as well as the minifigures. We've got tons of Star Wars minifigures. Most of them are out here for sale, but we've got them online as well. 
So definitely go onto our website. We've got them organized by episode. So you can look up episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, as well as all the side movies and TV shows. Let's see. As you open the door, they'll hug heckle you. Yeah, exactly. We gotta have our um, grumpy Muppets. So there's all the built Star Wars sets. Goes all the way to the end there by Harry Potter. And then we've got the boxed sets from Star Wars. We're pretty late on box sets from Star Wars. You see all the gaps showing up. But uh, we'll get some more soon, I'm sure. We have a couple micro fighters, some of the smaller sets. I actually, this is one of my favorite sets. Because you can get a nice Obi-Wan and Anakin for like a pretty good deal. There's Commander Cody. If only they made the minifigure version of that trooper. Oh, Robert has a great question. Speed Champions box sets. We'll go look at that in just a second. But yeah, custom Star Wars figures here. We have quite a few of them. They're all really cool. I especially like those Mandalorian style ones. Mark, can you show oh. something off real quick? I can, yes. What's up? Uh, we just put out our Halo figures back out. Right. So the Covenant are all up here. Oh, nice. Uh, and the UNSC. Are down here. Gotcha. So all the Spartans and yep. ODSTs and, we've got and weapons. The weapons, the accessories, weapons nice. Separate. We've got the flood. They're very rare. Yes, flood giants over so there. These guys range from a dollar each per item mm -hmm. to I think uh, eighty dollars is wow. rare figures. I see some there. for twelve and twenty too, so, so most of them are pretty reasonable. Yeah. But yeah. The uh, Halo is extremely popular right now because of that uh, the TV show. TV show, which is good. Yep. Have you seen episode five? Yeah. 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 Killer. Awesome stuff. Anyway, um, not for kids, but very fun. Um, yeah, we've got all the Covenant troopers. I might have to, to get one or two of these after watching some of the scenes in the show because they're really cool. And then you've got the UNSC down here, all the very colorful Spartan and Marine troopers here. Very awesome. Can't hear Chris super well. What are those? Oh, those are the um, the uh, Mega Constructs and Mega Blocks Halo Troopers. They're the only custom, well, not custom, the only non-Lego figures that we sell regularly are the Halo ones because they're very popular. But uh, Chris said you guys have a store display up for my favorite theme. Does he have a price for them yet? I'm trying to convince my the wife that it's a nightlight for my dogs. <laughs> I will ask Chris if he's around. I don't see him... When next time he pops back out, I'll ask him, uh, Grumpy J, that's hilarious. Um, yo, I'm back. Hey, Zion, thanks for tuning back in. We still got another 15 minutes or so. Did Chris win his soccer tournament that he was talking about? I'm not sure. I will ask him when I see him, though. Do you have any thoughts on the Lars Homestead gift with purchase on May the 4th promos? Oh, haven't seen them, but I heard about them, and I think it's a great idea. I, I'm a little upset that the Beskar um, uh, keychain seems to be pretty expensive. I think it, it's, it's better than it could be. I think it's like $90 you have to spend on Star Wars, but uh, which is very easy to do, <laughs> given the, all the awesome Star Wars sets. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a couple. So. Love the Halo series, PC games, and I'm watching a Paramount Plus 2. Nice. I play soccer too. Maybe I'll have to challenge Chris to 1v1 when I come visit. LOL, that would be amazing. That'd be amazing, Madeline. Standing here, I realized... I'm not sure which song that is. Sometimes I, I, I tend to listen to kind of niche music, like uh, soundtracks and, um, you know, Swedish power metal and stuff like that, so... I don't listen to pop as often as I should. I'm trying to branch out. So. I used to watch Red vs. Blue series. That's pretty funny. That's all on YouTube, so most people can see that. From Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Oh, nice. I've heard of the Metal Gear series, so I'll have to check it out. Have any Uncle Owen figs in stock? That's a great question, uh, J. Clam. Let me check that out. J.M. Clam. If I mispronounce anyone's names, my bad. I'm not good at pronunciations. It's one of my weaknesses. Let's see if we got an Uncle Owen. Oh, Chris, did you win your soccer tournament you were talking about earlier? Well, I got a game tonight. 
Oh, nice. Uh, tonight's a makeup game from mm -hmm. uh, Rain we had. Gotcha. And uh, <clears throat> because it's a makeup game, a lot of guys can't make it, so there's only six of us, and mm -hmm. it's a seven-on-seven seven game. Oh, so you're going to be short a player. Yeah. I'm going to be wiped out. Yeah. It's hot outside right now, too. Mm -hmm. So I got to leave here in an hour to go do that. Mm -hmm. um, and then the championship's going to be May 8th, yeah. Mother's Day. Oh, <laughs> so get, yeah, it's like you, you can't even be there for your mom because you're playing soccer. That's you're terrible, right. yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, man. There was another question for Chris. I'm trying to remember what it was. Let's see here. Scroll back. Oh, Grumpy J was asking if there's prices on the next to night display cases. He's trying to convince his wife it's a nightlight for his dogs. I, I can't put prices on them because they are priceless. They're priceless, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, Grumpy J will have to email us and uh, make us an offer. We're going we're gonna to get uh, all of them online. Okay. And actually, we're going to do a Between the Studs vlogcast on uh, off location mm -hmm. over there because we've got about 30 store displays. That's awesome. And they're really neat. I mean, they're yeah. cool. So, cool. We'll do a video on that. Yeah. You'll see it soon. And then we'll come up with pricing and, and uh, Grumpy J will be the first to know. Yep. Sounds good. For sure. Uh, let's see. Let's look for Owen, Uncle Owen. Would he be with the Alliance or would he be with the generic figures? I'm not sure. Let's see. Nope. Let's see. He seemed to be by era, but I'm not seeing him. Nope. Let me ask um, Ethan, he would know. Let's check on that before we see what the other questions are. Any Dragon Ball figures? I don't think we have any of those right yeah. now, yeah. No Dragon Ball figures right now, Zion. Good question though. We have old castle sets and minifigures. We'll go look at that in a moment. Dungeon is my favorite Swedish band. I haven't heard of them, I'll have to check them out. I'm a big fan of Sabaton and uh, Brothers of Metal and other bands like that. Um, let's see. It's too late to check. Okay. Ethan, do we have an Uncle Owen minifigure? No, sold out. Sold out? Uh, because of that promotional, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Plus the Kenobi show is coming out. Yeah, he's extremely popular right now. Okay. Well, hopefully they make a little set with him in it so that we can get it. That would be great. And so Chris's general in the Grumpy Army. <laughs> Lady Liberty. Harry Potter stop display. We've got Lady Liberty up here. She's a hundred dollars for a built one. We also got that awesome roller coaster in. That's pretty sweet. Oh, there's Geology Joe. Hello, hello. Any hidden side sets? We have a few hidden side. We will go check them out. Could you explain how trade-ins work? Yes, Metal. Hold on one second. Let me find the castle stuff and then we'll talk about that. Here's all the castle stuff and I'm going to scroll over it while talking about trading. So, you can stop by the store and bring your stuff in and uh, Chris, Ed, or Joe will have a look at it and give you a store credit or cash value price for it. Or you can go to our buy and trade form on our website, atlbrick.com, and get an estimate sent to you. And then you can get a shipping label sent to you, and you can mail it to us and get your store credit without even leaving the comfort of your own home. So there's a couple different ways to do it. And, um, uh, and you can also just mail it to us for cash payment as well. However, you get pretty much double the value in store credit because we are able to be a lot more economical with it. So uh, I usually go for store credit. Most people do, but some people just want to sell it too. So. But yeah, definitely check out the website, and you can find more information there. Hidden Side. We'll go check out Hidden Side. We got plenty of castle. It's starting to get added online. A lot of the sets are already online, but uh, a lot of figures are not yet, so Daniel will be working on those soon. He's going through old space right now. One of the greatest downsides is that I focus on one thing for too long. I forget about another thing I'm supposed to do. <laughs> that happens, Zion. I got a message for Geology Joe. Oh, yes. I, I think I'm waiting on an email from you. Okay. I haven't seen one yet. Okay. So some trade stuff. Gotcha. Haven't seen one yet. All right. Can't wait for the new Thor sets. Yes, me too, Grumpy Jay. 
I was planning on coming to the store since I have a large amount of rare sealed Star Wars sets. Oh, that'd be awesome, Metal. We'd be happy to buy or trade anything Lego, but Star Wars, I mean, we're, we're, we are always looking for Star Wars. It's great. Can you look at Bionicle again, please? Yes. First, we're going to check out Hidden Side. So we've got a few Hidden Side boats up here. Got a few Hidden Side laboratories and buses. Just like the Fortnite battle buses, but uh, Hidden Side. Fortnite battle pass. <laughs> Is that Vogan? Yeah. Yep. Got to get that Fortnite battle pass. Get those V-Bucks, baby. All righty. So we got a couple of hidden side sets. I love the blue tree from the hidden side. Basically the upside down from Stranger Things. Yeah, I think uh, hidden side was catching on to many popular uh, pop culture things. But still very cool. And then we've got some boxed hidden side up here. And above Bionicle over here. And a lot of those are online. So definitely, uh, definitely check it out. Brick Jedi says, what's up, Chris? I'll let him know you said hi, Brick Jedi. And then uh, Zion said... Can you look at Bionicle again, please? We can. We're going to scan through it really quick. We've got the Hero Factory on the top shelf here. Love these, uh, that guy with his creepy yellow eye and the, the creep, creep, creepy yellow face with his red eye. We've got the bug guy in the back, too. He's pretty menacing looking. Some more Hero Factory down here. Like the big bulker guy. Is that his name? What is his name? I can't see it. It's hidden. Stormer XL, Stormer, Bulker, Stormer, same thing. All right, um, is there a villain factory? I I bet you there is, because why else would they have a hero factory if there's a, I mean, it's probably why the hero factory was founded, because of the villain factory producing villain. I mean, the, half the hero factory characters are actually villains. I mean, look at this guy. That guy's not a good guy. He's got two heads and a huge claw. He's just waiting to gobble people up. And then we got Bionicle down here. Got some awesome boxed certified complete ones in the back. Got a lot of the characters in the front. Some really uh, hard to find boxed ones back there. Got the winter themed ones over here with more stacked in the back. A lot of the boxed and canister Bionicle sets are online. Most of the built ones are not though. So if you see one that you like, definitely let us know here. Give us a call or email us and uh, we can get it get you some information on it so what do you do with a drunken sailor what do you do with a drunken sailor this is cyan cinema let's see it's okay to be the bad guy remember rick at ralph taught us that exactly you can be the bad guy but you don't have to be bad guy i'm gonna have to stop watching these streams spending too much money <laughs> yeah you and me both corvette i was literally just cleaning out the city section and I started buying sets because they're so darn cool. Like, I was buying some classic city and town sets because they reminded me of my childhood and I had to buy them. Oh, Diana has a great point. She says, likes. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Do yourself a favor. You love Lego. We have Lego every day of the week. Corvette, there is never too much money spent on Lego. That's a good point, Brad B. <laughs> I loved Street Fighter. I haven't even gotten that much into Street Fighter. I need to. It's pretty awesome. Have you checked Jurassic yet? No, we have not, Grant Thompson. Thank you. We'll check that. Corvette, if you stop buying sets, someone in the store will starve. Yeah, that's exactly. You got to keep buying stuff so that we can. I can keep going to McDonald's. I need my uh, quarter pounder with bacon with large fries and a large Sprite. Might have spent too much on Nexo. Oh no! Robert, what are you doing? There's so many other better themes. What are you doing? <laughs> Why Nexo? No! You and Grumpy J, you guys, everybody. Now that everyone knows how much Nexo Knights gets my goat, I'm never going to have a goat again. That's, that's just how it is. We got quite a few nice Jurassic World sets. If you didn't check it out this morning, was it this morning or... Yeah, it would have been this morning. The dino um, video should have dropped. So you can watch that on our channel. It's me and Randy talking about all the dinosaurs, having a great time. I might get a surprise visitor early on in the video wearing a dinosaur outfit, which was pretty wild. So um, definitely need to watch that if you haven't. Robert, that's a great idea. No, no, it's not. 
Do you guys have a Star Wars Cad Bane speeder in stock? I don't think we have that set. Um, we might have the figure. We might not. I'll have to check. Hello there. Hey, it's the night guy. He actually, that's uh, our, our co-worker Andy. He actually works here. It's good to see him. Grant Thompson. Zero is too much on Nexo. Thank you, Grant. Someone with taste. Honey, I know what I want for dinner. McDonald's. Yep, yeah, exactly. Robert, that's a great... No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, my God, Mark. I can hear your arteries clogging here in Florida. Yes. Well, actually, it's more like my veins popping out of my head. Your store allows people to revisit their childhood. Exactly, Zion. That's that's the point. Spoilers. I'm oh, sorry, night guy. Yep, yep. Spoilers. T-Rex tracker. Oh, yeah. We actually have that one. Grant Thompson. We You are in luck. We have this one here. It is a whopping $200 for a new sealed T-Rex tracker. There's a minor shelf wear in the box, but the set itself is new. That's from the Florida collection that we got a couple months ago. So, um, Joe gave me one of your signed cards, and I bought a bunch of Nexa for you guys. So funny, LOL. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. It's ironically perfect, you know. Uh, just popped in to say hi. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Goodbye once more. We'll see you, Zion. We're about to end the stream here in another four minutes, so we got some time. And you add, can you add it online? Yes, it should be, but I'll double check. I'll bring it up to Joe and double check, because if it's not online, it should be. This is a cool one. And it's an older one. I think it's 2015. I almost said 16. 2015. That's not bad, honestly. Wonder if LEGO will make any new dino theme once Jurassic... Oh, the comment faded away, huh? I wonder if dino theme once Jurassic Park sets retire and they stop making Jurassic Park movies. Ooh, they might. I think they could just keep milking it. Like, they did the Jurassic Park TV show in Lego for a while. Give me, like, five minutes. I'll treat you guys to something. Oh, we got the lights testing? Some of them. I want to get the town ready for it. So look in the bottom floor. Let's see. Let me set the set down. Oh, wow. Now, wait there. Wait there. Let me zoom in so that people can see it here. Can they see it? Yep, I can look inside and see. Okay, so there's more. I think this is going to be on the top floor. Top floor? I think. Oh my. And then there's another one. On the bottom floor? On the bottom floor? What? And then there's one last one. Hey, have it last. Leave it for a little bit longer. Oh, sorry. sorry I need okay. to light because yeah. you're cutting it before I can see it. Sorry. There you go. There you go. That's so cool. All right. What's next? And there's more. There's one last candlelight one. On top. Oh, about to there you go. Oh, they're having a little so party. That's awesome. One more blue strip. A I blue strip. I want to put it under this support, which yeah. would fit pretty well, I think. I would try that because that would give it some really nice illumination. I love how you got Boba looking out the window. Somberly. Got Darth Vader and the stormtroopers having a nice time in there. Having a employee manager boss. Thing. Yeah, having a nice little yeah, <laughs> little time with the boss. That's great. Let's see if it's right. It might be too blue. Might be too blue. We'll plug it in and we'll see. No, I think that's awesome. <laughs> it's very blue, but it's very awesome. The blue on the tan works perfectly. Yeah, this is awesome. Oh, now, Mark, we got to get that, that power strip fixed up so we can actually put this in the city. Yeah, we. Um, uh, I think the lighting overall... I think the switch is not working. Yeah, something's wrong with it. Because uh, we hit the switch and nothing happens. I think it's the connection for the switch. I so. something's up. Yeah. yeah. But uh, thank you for humoring me. Oh, Dace is heading out. Bye, Dace. You have a good day. I think that's it for... It's basically done. Except for I just need it. I want to get every power strip ready. I could probably grab one of those. Okay, well, just make sure you have enough plugs, then you can set it in there once you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me grab some. All right, so Joe, question for you. Yeah. Is this, web, this on the website? Is it that there? Nope. Someone was asking if we could add it. So you may want to quickly get that uh, added for us. Hey, Bogey, can you fill up these two? Wow, that light is amazing. Oh, yes. Grumpy J can count me in for part of the donation for that build. <laughs> Let's see. That's it, Mark. I'm going to have to build a custom giant Nexa mock. I'll call Chris to get a price. Insert evil app. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, my goodness. It makes me want to buy video sets. And be like, these are still better than Nexonites. I'll chip in, Grumpy. Let me know. Grumpy, you can count me in for the part of the donation for that build. No! Wow, that light is amazing. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Wow, let's get the collection plate going around. 
That's awesome. Sorry who built that. Late to the party. Oh, yeah, so Shane, Steven, my brother, who you may know from Season 2 of LEGO Masters, is working on installing some more buildings and fixing up the city so that it looks nice. Because I, I, we'd gone over it the past couple times. It was always empty and dusty and kind of beat up. So he is working on the city to make it glorious once again. It's a long-term project. He's working on the lighting and wiring and stuff. I do want to test out everything. Which is not necessarily his forte, but he's, he's good at no, it. I, I'm not an electrician. All right, awesome. Thanks, Mark, and everyone at ABC, for sure. Yeah, I think we're about done for today. Shane, Shane it was Steven. Oh, yes. Can you zoom in on the detail above the door of the Star Wars mock? Oh, yeah, let's go look at that really quick, and then we'll close this out for today. Morgan. Thank you. You're welcome, Grant. Just check the website in a minute. $20 for all the video. Ah, uh, nah, it's $20 a box, unfortunately. Which still sounds like way too much. Let's see. There's the detail of the front. We're gonna slowly... We're planning on a few more buildings, too, later. Yeah, Steven's got many buildings planned. <clears throat> so Steven, immediately a Star Wars expert builder. Oh, what was that, Joe? Oh! This sets online for Grant Thompson, if he's interested. Check it out, uh, bro. This is pretty cool. I'm getting ready to put this out for sale. Oh, we got one here. It's uh, one of Lego's lesser themes. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this, but it's nice. Star Wars. And it's, uh, it was part of a Toys R Us promotion they did. Ooh. Oh, nice. And we have two of them. Yep. And they're pretty, pretty rare. Yep. So they are $69.99 each. There you go. Great for displaying yep. stuff. Minifigures, things like yeah, that. Yeah. Maybe Hot Wheel cars or... Halo figures or... Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, everything's on now. All right, so, so many video sets. Does anyone actually buy them? A few people do. A few people like video. Not not enough, though, because Lego stops making them. Uh, thanks for the great stream, Mark. I hope you and everyone else will have a great weekend, for sure. And we're going to close it out with the coolest cantina scene I've seen in years. <laughs> All the lights are going now. This is it's beautiful. Awesome. And look at the skull on the and front. It's so cool. It's biological, but it fits perfectly. And you got lights on the inside down there. That's awesome. Here, can we turn around and see the back, Steve? Yeah, 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 it's about the same, but yeah, you can check it out. Oh, Fazoom joined on the last minute hey, of the live stream. Fazoom. See my uh, custom Star Wars build. Yeah, Steven's making probably the custom building world. We gotta figure out how to disguise those wires a little bit. Yeah, I'll probably put them on the floor. That's awesome. But in the back, you shouldn't. You're gonna see it mostly from the front. So. Yeah, that, it, it's a, because it's an alley side building, you're gonna see mostly just this. Could be another building here and here. Hey, uh, Mark, Jacob just came in. Oh, there's. <laughs> straight from the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, right. Cobra Kai called. They said you left your gi there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. All right. Well, yeah, All right. well thanks, guys. Uh, how much, Corvette? You got to send us an email. We're closing the stream, but thanks, guys. All righty. Bye, everyone. Is it a space castle? No! It's Star Wars! Star Wars. For Zoom?